<laughs> what was that? <laughs> Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest, and I'm about to diagnose a vehicle out here. I'm not sure if it's going to turn into a full job. Here's what here's here's why I'm starting this video now. Because whether it does or not, I'm going to talk about why I haven't been filming every job. Because the last few times I've been trying to film every job, it just doesn't make sense for a video. Um, and that's also like a unique problem to be in a mobile mechanic is the reason why. Because when people can bring their car to you and be like, it's got an intermittent issue. I guess it's pretty tough to intermittent either way. Um, but at least when you have a shop, you can like keep trying it for a couple of days and see if it does its thing. But I got a call and they were like, hey, I think it's my starter. It's been starting up more and more weak every time and i'm like kind of sounds like it so i'll bring a starter in case it is and uh we'll just plan on it being that so i take the starter up there and of course it starts every single time roadside rescue after dark i just got out here it's late sometimes i do that especially in the summer with this pacifica uh the, the starter is under the in uh not the intake the um, catalytic converter even worse but uh, I brought the starter with me is one thing. The second thing though is this thing started every time I tried. So I can't get the problem to repeat itself. I kind of took a look at everything, all the connections are tight. I've seen that before. People thought it was a bad starter and just had a bad battery connection. So those look good. See if we can get this thing to not start, but it's starting every time right now. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. That starter is just crazy. I don't know if there's any other good videos on it though, so it been worth 12.8 volts. It's gonna be high right now because we just had it running, but let's see what kind of output it has. Cold cranker 650. Get up there. Oh, that was close. That was pretty close. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what else to do on that. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at the cleaned up battery terminal as I just covered those back up. I can't get it to replicate itself, so I guess we'll just wait and see. Bummer, dude. I don't know. It was He said it was rapid clicking. We just can't get it to do it, dude. I can't get it to do it. It's been sitting here all day. Hasn't been driven. It started right up. Time. And I'm like, okay, this will be a cool episode and we'll start i'll start filming every job i always think that but i have a really but it's almost impossible for me to edit almost anything let alone frequently i'm gonna give it a good shot for like a month or two by myself and probably try and hire an editor after that if it goes okay because i do want to keep making a lot of videos it's just been hard by myself so i'm trying to figure that one out still and then there's the other instance where i take a pcv valve down to a town half an hour away and it's not even the right part. Whose fault is that? It's not mine. It's the auto parts store. We just got to a town that's 30 minutes away. It's about as far as I go. Um, this is for a friend, so normal price. Anyways, I usually charge more the further I go, and this is about as far as I go, like 30, 45 minutes. Anything past that phew, turns into a whole day ordeal. I've already been working all day. Um, they have a Tiguan with a bad PCV valve. It's burning some oil. I was afraid it was the rings on the pistons, but the compression test looked good. So. Nice. Kind of has. I just drove down here for nothing. It's been one of those days. Well, I'm gonna order the right PCV valve and I'll be back. I was gonna test this out. But we'll see when that comes in handy. Whose fault is that? It's not mine. 
It's the auto parts store because they have that, what was it mine? Because I should have known they had the wrong part listed under the wrong vehicle. But that is not what the PCV valve on those Volkswagen 2.0s looks like. They're huge, it wouldn't even fit in this box. I was like, okay, must be special for that Tiguan because I haven't worked on one on the T1. I was like, cool. So I go down to a town half an hour away and I don't even have the right part. Do I charge for that? I charged last night when I went out there and the car wouldn't not start and it just started every time and I cleaned up their battery and I was like, here's why, because they said, I, they said it was clicking and I was like, okay, cool, yeah, it could be the starter. And then when they said it was rapid clicking, I was like, mm, doesn't sound like it, it's the starter for sure. So I don't wanna just replace the starter. It's under the catalytic converter, that's $500 for it to possibly not be the starter and we can't even verify the issue. So I think they agreed. I let them make the choice. They didn't want me to put that starter on without being sure either, but I can't even diagnose the issue. So what I'm going up to another town that's 25, 30 minutes away in the other direction. Um, that time, I, I guess I can charge. The other time though, I can't charge the customer for bringing the wrong part, can I? No, that doesn't make sense. I don't even feel good about charging the guy last night when his car wouldn't repeat the problem, but I can't travel for free, dude. I can't. Anyways, let's see how this diagnosis goes. I'm waiting on the customer. They told me they needed it um, by like nine. And I told them I couldn't get here by 9.30. And I got here by 9.30, right around, right at 9.30, maybe a couple minutes after, but I told him when I was on the way and how long it would take. So no surprise there. And they're not even here. <laughs> how was I gonna look at it at nine if they're not here? So I've been waiting for like 10 minutes. I'm like, let me just talk about this issue because that's really been bothering me. I'm like, that's what's been keeping me from like just being productive filming wise is like I try and film everything and half the stuff doesn't work out. And then the one I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna film this because it doesn't make sense. I'm not filming everything. It does turn into a, what would have been a good video. So anyways, an editor and somebody who can help me film would be nice. Um, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. No commitments. Just stay subscribed, stay tuned and see if I can put out a lot of videos and see if it's some pretty good content. It's been 10 more minutes, I'm still waiting. And they said they were by the interstate in this town. That's like two minutes away when I talked to them 20 minutes ago. So that's one strike. All right, I just got done diagnosing this truck. It took about 10, 15 minutes. Had a really bad misfire on cylinder three. Um, they were thinking that because they had replaced the oil recently at AutoZone of all places, my favorite place, but this isn't a good AutoZone story. The funnel was in there and the guy at AutoZone closed the hood for him with the funnel still in the filler neck and some pieces of plastic broke off down in there. They thought that caused the issue. They've already taken the valve cover off and taken some things out of there, some pieces of plastic that they could find, but that cylinder three misfire returned. They also had it on a couple of other cylinders as well. So they've replaced some connectors before. And that's what made me think, let's start looking at those connectors. This one's been replaced with wire nuts. Should probably work, but that's not the reason it doesn't. Okay, so the wire nuts here, that, that would obviously connect it well. I'll see if I can get this in frame, but um, on all the other connectors, we've got our 12 volts on the right side and our, I'm guessing we just get a blip of ground to send that signal to the coil. But on this side, we have our voltage on the left side and that's because the connectors come with two different color wires sometimes. Sometimes they come with all the same color wire, but they just hooked one up to a white wire with a pink tracer and the other one up to a different one. wire. I'll get this switched around and we'll see if we can get this misfire gone. Okay, here's a look at those connectors. I've just got the one that works normally here. You can see the 12 volts on that right side, but if I grab the one back here, that's the one that's misfiring and it's on the left side. So those, those wires have been switched. I told them with automotive wiring, you can't just go by the color. They are always mixed up. Well, I'm glad that was easy. Be quiet. Um, I was gonna say um, that worked out well. Finally, a call out that I was able to figure something out and fix. Um, I didn't bring my electrical stuff with me, but they had some connectors to fix that anyways. I was just thinking I was doing some diagnosis and I was like, I'm not bringing that electrical bucket with me today. I should have. I'm back over here with this RAM that I diagnosed a couple weeks ago. Uh, for a charging problem apparently has no compression on some cylinders now it was just running a few days ago but i told them they had some bad, bad old gas in there i'm wondering if it didn't lean out some bank or something and burn up a cylinder um i'm just coming i was just coming to pick up some cash they were leaving for me for the work the diagnosing i did but i told them i want to stick an inspection camera down there see what it looks like let's go check it out 
Okay, I'm gonna say we've got a hanging valve right here. I tried to turn it over like five times and the cylinder was in the same spot every time. Um, and I was like, no way. I thought the cylinder wasn't moving, but I finally got it to go down. Just turns out it was stopping in the same spot every time. Now that it does though, yeah, I was gonna say, I've got it in like five, six different spots now. This valve's been open every time. I haven't seen any of the valves open on any of the other cylinders to tell you what that means. I don't expect any of them to be open, let alone that same one to be open every time that cylinder is in a different position. So we've definitely got a hanging valve there. The other two cylinders that had no compression, I didn't see anything weird in there, um, a little flooded. So um, I don't know why that would cause no compression though. Unless I mess up the compression tester. The other thing though, is this thing wanted to start right up with the three cylinders that are supposedly dead having their spark plugs out. So probably doesn't mean much though. I'll show you these other ones though, this one over here. There's so much vapor in that cylinder. There's not even a spark plug. Maybe just for the compression in the full morning though. Can't see much. Let me just tap her over. I'll show you if that's still flooded. Yeah, it's still pretty flooded. It's got some issues going on and it's gonna need some serious maintenance. The hanging valve. Pull the valve covers at least. I probably won't be the one to do it. This guy does most of his work and then calls me when he's stumped. All right, I made it to that last thing coincidentally. Not really coincidentally because I had to finish everything that I didn't get done already. I'm with that Tiguan again with the PCV valve. I'm just gonna replace that real quick. Coincidentally, again, there's another Tiguan over there. And I thought that was the one, they look identical, but it's right here. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of maintenance here. And then this thing will be back on the road and we'll be done with stuff for today. I've got an evening planned with my kids. All right, that should be good to go. Let's get out of here. It was burning a lot of oil, had some PCV issues. It's not uncommon with these 2.0s. It's one of the more common issues with them. I think they're ready to get rid of this car either way. Probably thinking about getting a Mazda CX-5 or something like that, MX-5, I don't remember. Some of those Mazdas are good. We'll see what they end up with. That'll get this one back on the road.